This video will explain the different file types and what tools you will use to open them. If you haven't already taken a look through the game's extracted files, you'll find that nearly every file is an FPK file, or FPAC. FPACs are archive files that hold the files that we want to edit. Think of them like zip files, but instead of using something like WinRAR to open them, we'll be using GNTool. To open GNTool, go to its folder and open up the bin folder, and then open up gntool.bat. The interface will pop up. Click the tool icon on the top right. This will bring up a list of different FPK tools. Since this is a Wii game, we will be selecting FPK Unpacker Wii. We can now navigate to the FPK we want to open. We'll open a character for this example. In the extracted files, go to FPack, and then CHR for character. You'll find that every character's name has been shortened to three characters. Some of them are obvious, but few of them are not. GAC is Ken the Eagle, which most likely comes from shortening Gacha Man. YUK is Soki, for his real name. TK1, 2, and 3 are the three forms of the final boss Yami. TST, TS2, and LST are test characters left in by the developers, but don't get too excited, they're just Ryu and Ken. Pick any character you want and select 000.fpk. Each of these files are the character's different costume colors. 0400 is a copy of the first costume, and it is currently unknown what it's actually used for. Create a new folder outside of the game's extracted files and unpack them there. I keep all the files I unpack in a separate folder so I won't need to unpack them again. If you are successful in unpacking the files, you will find four folders. CAM contains files that controls the camera's movement around the character at the start of a match. CHR contains the character's model, character data, and animations. CPU contains the character's computer AI. EFT contains the character's external effects and weapons. For modding, we will be mainly focused on the character and effect folders. Now go to the character folder until you find more files. The first file you will find is a brplt file. You can open this file with Brawlbox. This contains a character's color palette, but don't bother messing with this file. Next, you will find a brres file. You can also open this up with Brawlbox. This contains the character's model and textures. The next file is an MOT file. These are all of the character's animations. We currently don't have anything to edit these files. Next is the most important file when it comes to modding. The SEQ or sequence file controls almost everything about a character, like their health, attacks, damage, hitboxes, move speed, and so on. You can open sequence files with your hex editor. The last file is another BRRES file that contains different face textures. Some of these textures will be transparent so you can't see the real image. With all that, you are now able to open up the files needed to start modding. Try opening up some other FPACs and exploring the files. I know these videos have been just a lot of information, so next time we'll do something fun. Once again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.